Hey, what's going on, guys? For my project, back again with another video for you guys for today. And uh, you know, I did go to the store today, and uh, I didn't get any DVDs. Uh, not until Tuesday, at least. And um, I did get two books, were uh, about seven ninety nine each, and one I was already reading, and I got it at the library, but fortunately had to take it back. So I went to uh, Barnes and Noble, and I got two books, and the one that I was reading, uh, which I will get into in just a moment, and uh, I got the bag right over here, uh, you know, with the uh, Barnes & Noble bag, um, books are already out, so I'm going to get into the one I was originally reading, it's a bit uh, smaller than the original one, uh, but, you know, it's still the same book, of course, and that is A Lion's Tale by, uh, you know, Chris Jericho, uh, Chris Jericho book, and uh, I really uh, love this book, I've been, you know, uh, gotten to be, uh, you know, a bigger fan of Chris Jericho by reading this book. It goes into, um, you know, how he got into uh, wrestling, how he got into the wrestling business, and, you know, how hooked he was on wrestling, and uh, pretty much that's all he wanted to do and become a wrestler. And uh, it's just an easy read. Of course, the other one was a lot bigger than this one, and it's still an easy read as big as the book is, and... With all the chapters, it's still a good, easy read. Um, I'm not really a reader myself, but uh, I really started to like this book a lot. And um, now I'm getting more into these books, so expect more uh, book updates out of this for sure. Of course, Chris Jericho, A Lion's Tale, uh, very good book. We got, you know, uh, just some of the pictures here. You know, classic old uh, footage, uh, well not footage, but pictures. Uh, Chris Jericho in his early years trying to get started into the business and uh yeah but it's a good book I suggest you guys go out and check it out $7.99 at Barnes and Noble definitely you know I thought that was a good buy and uh also this was a little bit smaller than that one uh still uh these books are easy to read uh the this one is uh, Stone Cold Truth I believe they did make a DVD out of this one. I'm not really too sure, uh, but I do have the other two DVDs about, um, you know, Stone Cold, and I will be uh, trying to get into more reviews on DVDs. So, uh, Stone Cold Truth, a little bit smaller, uh, looks like uh, less chapters. Uh, we do got, uh, you know, pictures of Stone Cold in this book, right there with the uh, Ted DiBiase and everything. You know, it's just, I haven't checked this one out, but I'm sure it's a good book. Uh, so, um, hopefully, uh, we'll see about how this one goes. Um, so, expect more out of that. So, just to review what I got yet again, Chris Jericho, Alliance Tale, and Stone Cold Truth. Definitely uh, check out these books when you can, uh, or any other the, of the wrestling books. Now, I was going to get the encyclopedia, but I'll probably get that one. Uh, next time, uh, it just shows like a whole bunch of history about uh, the WWE, and it looks like a good encyclopedia book. Uh, so that'll probably be uh, my next book update. And uh, anyway, uh, we do have TNA Slam anniversary tonight. It looks to be a pretty decent pay per view. Hopefully, this one could surprise us. Um, you know, of course, Slam anniversary is not having the King of the Mountain match, unfortunately. Hulk Hogan is not happy with uh, the whole uh, King of the Mountain concept. Uh, I would have loved to have seen the King of the Mountain uh, at this pay-per-view, but we're not going to see that. We're just going to see, a, you know, just a plain main event with Sting and uh, RVD. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, there's a couple of matches I'm looking forward for. Kazarian and Kurt Angle, uh, for sure. Uh, AJ Styles and Jay Lethal. Uh, which could possibly, uh, you know, save the show with both of those matches. So, it looks to be pretty good so far. So, hopefully, it's a, it can, excuse me, it can surprise us. And uh, that's what I have to say with that. Also, uh, you know, Dixie Carter has mentioned on a Twitter page that TNA is expecting some sort of surprise that can shake, uh, that can shock, uh, you know, uh, the TNA, uh, well, TNA in general, 
Um, so I'm not really too sure what's gonna happen. I think the surprise is gonna happen at Slammiversary tonight. I'm hearing it could be Shelton Benjamin coming in, Mickey James, uh, the ECW faction that's supposed to be happening. And, um, it's just a lot of stuff that I've been hearing, uh, that can possibly happen and shake, uh, the foundation of TNA. Hopefully it's nothing stupid, uh, you know, with, uh, the surprise and everything. Hopefully it's something good. Uh, but we'll see what happens. It's looking to be uh, tonight. So uh, that's what I got to say with that. And uh, that ends with the video for today, guys. And uh, as always, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.